Back then, fouling was an accepted part of the game. The players just got on with it and got away with it. This is a man's world. While the game was played by real men, it was also refed by real men. Something, to be honest, you simply can't say about every ref today. This is a man's, man's, man's world. Or indeed, every player. This is a man's However, in the 80s, there was one ref who didn't treat the players like men. He treated them like boys. You do not speak my linesman like that, otherwise you go in the book. Like naughty boys. You keep it quiet, otherwise you're going to walk. Like naughty schoolboys. Stand up. Harrow schoolmaster and top referee David Ellery wore a hidden microphone for a current affairs TV show. I refereed Millwall Arsenal, which at the time they were, they were both at the top of the old first division. But there was one slight problem. Both clubs had been told beforehand that this experiment was taking place. Arsenal forgot to tell their players. Actually, I don't think I did know that he, he was, was Mike Talk. After a goal was disallowed, Arsenal's players overstepped the mark. And would-be scorer Tony Adams went mental. Go away! He was like the Tasmanian devil crossed with Orville because he just chased after him, waving his hands, screaming, screaming, it's my goal, it's my goal! Go away! Go! And his voice got higher and higher and higher. I don't know what was worse, the fact that he'd sworn at the ref or the fact that he'd done it in the style of Joe Pasquale. And to cap it all, Adams called the respected ref the C-word. No, not that C-word, the one you must never call a ref. Listen, once we've given a decision, stand up. After one ticking off, Adams didn't fancy another from his strict manager, George Graham. So George said to him, what you say, Tony, did you swear at him? No, 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 no I, didn't, I didn't swear at him. He said, did you call him the Santa? You called him, no, no, I didn't call him a cheek. Tone, I think you better change your story. When I said, well, because David Erry was mic'd, <laughs> David Erry was mic'd up. We thought it was absolutely, like, hilarious. But Graham didn't see the funny side, and after the match, nearly fell foul of the dreaded hidden mic himself. Just a quick word. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to say something, and then I realised it was mic'd up. <laughs> I went, whoop, sorry. George, I'd love for you to have a quick word now. <laughs> I'd rather not. Best thing I ever did was walk back out again.